welcome back to the Ayurvedic Life. Today we will look at how to make an amla, ginger and turmeric shot. This shot is great for maintaining the immunity, digestion, skin and hair health, joint support and many 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 other benefits. Let's look at each of the ingredients. Amla or Indian gooseberry is a well-known superfood in Ayurveda. It is a rasayana or rejuvenative herb which means it helps to really, really nourish the body and the tissues from within. It is the world's richest source of vitamin C. So it has great immunity uh, support benefits. Amla is also great for anti-inflammatory properties. It is also good for digestion. So it helps to maintain the Agni and it helps to eliminate ama and toxins from the body. Now it's also great for skin and hair health. And speaking about doshas, amla is good for all the doshas, all three doshas, vata, pitta, as well as kapha. And very rarely substances um, or foods have this property of being good for all the doshas. So amla is one of them. It is especially good for pitta pacification. Um, it has, it's, what's special about amla is it has all uh, tastes except salty. So it's very rare for a one food to have all the tastes. So that's one of those specialties about Amla uh, and that it has five tastes in it. All right, moving on to ginger. Ginger is another rock star, I would say in Ayurveda. It's not as flashy as Amla is, but it is definitely one of those rock stars, silent rock stars in Ayurveda. Now, ginger is a very, very sattvic substance. What is sattvic? Anything that has or promotes clarity, lightness and wisdom. So ginger is one of those sattvic um, herbs, or it's actually a rhizome in Ayurveda. Uh, ginger has digestive benefits. We know that it's great for the respiratory system. It's good for maintaining immunity. It's good for joint support. And speaking about doshas, ginger is great for vata and kapha balancing. balancing. And in fall, we are talking about vata season. So ginger is great for um, balancing vata as well as kapha. It can be pitta aggravating in excess, but you know, that's only in excess. It's, it's basically it's post digestive effect or the paka is cooling. So even though it's got a heating virya or a heating effect when you, when it's going through the digestive system, it's actually got a cooling post digestive effect. So anyway, ginger is great. One thing to pay attention to is people with the pitta constitution should opt for fresh ginger rather than dry ginger because dry ginger is even more heating than fresh ginger. All right, uh, moving on to the next uh, ingredient, it is turmeric. We have used fresh turmeric uh, root in this um, recipe, but if you cannot find it for some reason, you may use turmeric powder. Now turmeric also is good for joint support, good for digestion, good for immunity. And what's special about turmeric is it helps to maintain healthy blood sugar levels when it is combined with amla especially. Speaking about doshas, um, turmeric is actually pretty balancing for all the doshas, but in excess, and I'm talking like in excess, like a lot of it, then it can be aggravating to vata and pitta. But otherwise, like if you use it in moderate amounts, it is good for all the doshas. We've also used mint leaves, fresh mint leaves, black pepper and rock salt in this recipe and water. Uh, mint leaves, as we all know, add that freshness. They're great for digestion. It, good to, it helps to freshen the breath. Um, it's good for pitta balancing, it's cooling. Um, what else? Black pepper has got digestive properties, immunity support properties. In addition, it's also got antibacterial and antiviral properties. Rock salt is, you know, better, more natural than table salt. So that's why we've used this in this recipe. All right, let's dive right in and look at how this is made. Make the amla shots, collect the ingredients, ginger root, turmeric root, amla or Indian gooseberry, mint leaves, and optionally you can add some rock sugar and some rock salt. Pepper can also be added if you want a little bit of zing. These are the actual quantities that I used for making amla shots for four people, inch sized piece of ginger and turmeric and two large Indian gooseberries. Collect all the ingredients, put them into a blender, add some water, and blend it thoroughly. You don't want to have any pieces remaining. Once this is done, you can strain and collect the liquid separately and throw out the fiber, or you may use the fiber for your sabzis or vegetables. 
your amla shots are ready you may also add some water to it and maybe some sugar and it's you have a beverage so i hope you found that useful and i hope you will make your amla ginger turmeric shot uh, you can have that first thing in the morning on an empty stomach every day and you will see the benefits as i said again you might want to alter the amounts of um you know amla ginger and turmeric according to your constitution right so you can go a bit low on the ginger and the turmeric if you have a pitta constitution you can up the ginger um, if you have an uh, vata or a kapha constitution and amla is just great for all the doshas all right so i hope you will enjoy making this recipe and i will see you again next time with another video bye have a great day